trees out there, right? Those beautiful green leaves. The sun is hitting those leaves. And through photosynthesis, um, the solar energy is being turned into wood, a solid. So we're, it's really cool. We're turning you know, the sun's energy uh, stored into a solid. And you can kiss it. Okay? Uh, you can't kiss many batteries. It would not be advisable to go into your car and kiss your battery. Um, so, you know, the great spirit um, did us a big favor by solidifying energy in a way that we can use it. And sunlight, you can only use it as it's available. Wood, because it's concentrated, you can put a lot in the fire, you can put a little in the fire, you can uh, control the rate at which the energy is released. And so, um, our trick, especially now in 2012, when there's uh, you know global warming and when there's pollution and when the resources are becoming less and less, when we've used up a lot of the earth, is uh, we turn our attention back to wood. And when we do, it's probably a little bit different. We always want to use wood sustainably, right? So. Um, here we have this uh, concentrated solar energy, and um, we want to make sure that we're using it uh, at the same rate that it grows. So if you have a forest, and this is, Vecho has a 40 acre farm, so it's very obvious uh, when we just measure how fast is our forest growing. And then you go, okay, the whole forest is making, say, 10 cords of wood a year, okay? And so then you go, well, what percentage of that should we use? And the agriculturists say, if you use maybe one-third of the corn stalk, but you return two-thirds of it to the field, then that is sustainable. That's renewable. It will keep on going. The other thing is that we are tasked, especially now with uh, turning this energy source into heat extremely cleanly. And that has been the problem is that when we turn this into a gas, and when we light the gas, then uh, we make smoke. And so um, that is very bad for people, and it's uh, bad for the environment. So when you uh, ingest smoke, unfortunately, it's an extremely small amount of smoke that can result in serious respiratory illness. So. Um, when people try to figure out what percentage of smoke do we have to get rid of, they say at least 90% of smoke has to be gone to uh, make sure that you're reducing the amount of uh, death and serious illness caused by that smoke. The other thing that we're really concerned about is black carbon, the black part of the smoke, is um, 500 times worse by weight than CO2 for climate change. So, uh, you know, when that black smoke goes up onto a glacier, then it's like a blanket, and when it stays up in the atmosphere, it's uh, very, very bad for climate change because it's a black blanket, it gets hot, and therefore, uh, it's uh, much, much worse than CO2. Um, so how do we change wood into uh, this uh, wonderful you know, heating? We make it hot. And so we make wood be over some degree Fahrenheit. And the, uh, the, uh, was it uh, Bradbury who wrote the story about... Uh, the fireman burning the book. And so what was the title of that book? Fahrenheit. 451. 451. Yeah. So if this gets over 451 degrees Fahrenheit, it starts to release gas. So the solid starts to turn into gas. And guess what? There's a very simple trick to make it all burn up. Are you ready? So, so we're telling you right in the beginning what to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just make sure that all the gas and all the smoke that you're releasing goes into flame. So really, it's more an architecture problem than anything else. If you can have a space that is full of flame, and then that gas and that smoke goes into that flame, it will burn up. 
especially if there's good mixing, you know, like in a Toyota car, you know, where you have this excellent rush of air that's making all, all of the fuel uh, burn up. Usually, when we make an open fire, that doesn't happen, right? Because this gets hot, and the smoke goes this way, and the gas goes this way, and there's a little flame over here, and so you can see that that is never going to be a clean process. And in the new modern world where we want to protect health and where we want to reduce climate change, it's really incumbent on us to try to have all of the released gases and smoke go into flame.